Hello and welcome to Unite and Prosper, where we will not be divided or conquered. And while you're watching this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share, share, share. Robert Kennedy Jr. announced that he is suspending his run president and endorsing Donald Trump. One of the reasons why is the way the Democratic Party has treated him. Pretty much the same way they treat anyone that isn't with them. You know, not a team player. 16 months ago, in April of 2023, I launched my campaign for President of the United States. I began this journey as a Democrat, the party of my father, my uncle, the party which I pledge my own allegiance to long before I was old enough to vote. I attended my first Democratic convention at the age of six in 1960. And back then, the Democrats were the champions of the Constitution, of civil rights. The Democrats stood against authoritarianism, against censorship, against colonialism, imperialism, and unjust wars. We were the party of labor, of the working class. The Democrats were the party of government transparency and the champion of the environment. Our party was the bulwark against big money interests and corporate power. True to its name, it was the party of democracy. As you know, I left that party in October because it had departed so dramatically from the core values that I grew up with. It had become the party of war, censorship, corruption, big pharma, big tech, big ag, and big money. When it abandoned democracy by canceling the primary to conceal the cognitive decline of the sitting president, I left the party to run as an independent. Furthermore, our polling consistently showed that by staying on the ballot in the battleground states, I would likely hand the election over to the Democrats with whom I disagree on the most existential issues, censorship, war, and chronic disease. It's with a sense of victory and not defeat that I'm suspending my campaign activities. Not only did we do the impossible by collecting a million signatures, we changed the national political conversation forever. Chronic disease, free speech, government corruption, breaking our addiction to war have moved to the center of politics. I can say to all who have worked so hard the last year and a half, thank you for a job well done. Three great causes drove me to enter this race in the first place, primarily. And these are the principal causes that persuaded me to leave the Democratic, Democratic Party and, and run as an independent. And now to throw my support to President Trump. The, the causes were free speech, a war in Ukraine, and the war on our children. During Robert Kennedy Jr.'s campaign, the Biden-Harris administration denied any type of secret service, which is their duty to protect any person running for president. Also, the way they ran their primary, or actually not a real primary, but let's just call it a primary, because I'm not aware of a word to describe what they did, except for, well, those words. But anyway, uh, the Democrats, uh, what they did by keeping Joe Biden hidden as much as possible, didn't allow a Democratic debate. Because if they allowed a Democrat debate, the old man, so to speak, would be let out of the bag. You know, just as the uh, Trump-Biden debate did. And also, after the Democrats pushed Biden out the door, Robert Kennedy Jr. tried to contact Kamala Harris to see if she would work together with him. And she actually just totally ghosted him. So after all that, he decided to uh, suspend and endorse Donald J. Trump. So with Georgia Governor Brian Kemp and Trump now working together, and Tulsi Gabbard, Helping with his debate against Kamala, and now a Kennedy, Robert Kennedy Jr.'s endorsement 
the Democrats will have to come up with a better plan than what they had when they padded the votes back in 2020.